is not going to be done just by one man, but it's going to be a collective effort of the two generations, the generation of our fathers, the generation of the national chairman and our national secretary, and the generation of myself and my colleagues who are here. We believe that our party has a vision to transform Nigeria and to bring about change that people will be happy about. And we want to contribute our own opportunities, our own experiences, and our own skills to the growth of our country. And we're very grateful for our party members and the delegates of our great party for giving us the opportunity to be able to join this train in this capacity to contribute our own to the growth and development of Nigeria. We believe that by the grace of God, the APC administration, in particular the Buhari or Shibaju administration, would, by the grace of God, continue the great work that they have started and make Nigeria great again and take Nigeria to the promised land. We will not relent. As young people, we will come together. We will mobilize. We will work with all the stakeholders to ensure that our country can receive the benefit of the progressives. Thank you so much. So, to be honest, um, you've had people who have made promises, but you must understand that we are a new generation of young people who have integrity. And like President Muhammad Jabari, we want to leave our lives and our time in office with integrity, with probity, with diligence, and with the fear of God. So that you can hold us to. We don't say that we have the power, but with the help of God, we will do everything within our power to ensure that we dutifully serve the young people who have put us in office. But that's not enough. One of the other things that we're also going to do is to ensure that prayerfully with the help of God, we engage our leaders we sit down with them we and we come open the line of communication when there is communication you can get more done you're able to lobby you're able to ensure that people can see reasons with you and why you want things to do we're not going to be aggressive this is not a looter this is not a student unionism with all due respect to those uh, organizations this is the young people of the all progressive congress and what does that mean these are young progressive the emphasis is on the word progressive. This started far back as the time of even Chief of Afemi Aulawa's action group. The progressive ideology is about social welfare system, it's about service to the people, and it's about leadership with excellence. And that's what we want to restore back into the youth wing of our party. So you agree with me that the global economy is suffering from challenges. And so the unemployment that we experience in Nigeria is not peculiar to our nation. America is also going through uh, its own challenges right now due to COVID and other challenges. But we know that as Nigeria, we're blessed people, we have resources, we have human manpower, we have natural resources as well, and we have the engine, the, the strength and the tenacity of the millions of no young Nigerians who refuse to be broken and who have become entrepreneurs in the agri-industry, in fintech, and in other different sectors of the economy. And so what we're going to do by the grace of the Almighty is to begin to identify the various stakeholders. Who do we need to work with? In the private sector, in the political sector, in the international development sector, in the civil society sector, we begin to engage them on how do we find a solution to the challenges facing our nation and our young people. One of the other things we also want to do is to work with all the publicly elected officials under the All Progressive Congress, our party, to begin to work with them to ensure that they fulfill their promise. They would make our job easier if they fulfill their promises within the confines of their capacity to the citizens. When they do that, it is easier for us to be able to go to the people and say, you see what our gov your governor has done. You see what your commissioner has done. We see what your councillor has done. And we're going to be able to, it will be easy for us to mobilize and to push um, for, for that. And also, what is also very important for us is the fact that there are a lot of young people in public office. We want to engage them from commissioners to senior official assistants to councillors in the local government. We want to work with them to be able to ensure that they're delivering true value to young people across the country. Thank you so much. Um, and that's a fantastic question. Um, you would agree with me that uh, upon our shoulder, I, know, I, don't, I say ha, ah, with very strong emphasis because it's not just myself but also my colleagues here who are uh, youth leaders, deputy and zonal youth leaders and all the way to our world youth leaders who are coming together to ensure that we have one single voice. Now, I represent the interest of over 10,000 youth leaders. I'm talking from the deputy to the uh, zonal to the um, uh, state to the senatorial to the local government and the ward youth leader. And so with that strong force that we have and the, the, the collective voice that we have, we will work together and I will go into such rooms of NWC meeting to make a case on behalf of that strong body of youth leaders from across the nation to ensure that our young people get 
preference. If you are giving women 50%, you should be able to give young people under the age of 35 at least, even if not 40, the, the, the concession to be able to pay a discounted fee. Um, the adults can go ahead and pay 50 million for themselves, but our young people, we would, by the grace of God, sit on the table and ensure that we can get it back in as much as the women are already getting in, 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 in the party as well. Okay, so Mr. Tony. Yeah. Education is a leveler. It brings the child of a poor man to the same level as the child of a rich man. And so education is vital for us. And part of what we're going to be doing as a council of youth leaders, uh, myself and my colleague from the deputy to the Zona Youth Leader and the State Youth Leader all the way down, is to be able to sit down and begin to identify who are the stakeholders that we also need to begin to engage with to push youth issues. We're going to make an attempt by the grace of the Almighty and we hope that we're granted audience to see, for example, the Minister of Education and you know, lend our voice to the issues would also see if we are, are, are you know we're able to also sit down with the other stakeholders uh for example the labor ministry and the others to also lend our voice we are not part of the main stakeholders we can only go and also intervene and advocate and lobby in our own little way we would make sure by the grace of the almighty together that we would do everything within our power to serve our generation and to ensure that we speak and we remain a voice for young progressives and we know that when we do that it will be easy for us to be able to mobilize for our party in the coming election okay can we have the last question